I have a major update coming out of Washington, D.C., uh, New York City, and also Alaska. It's been announced that uh, today, 9-11, marking the 22nd anniversary of the attack on the Twin Towers in New York City, that President Joe Biden will not be speaking to the nation. He has also become the first president to not be in attendance at the 9-11 memorial. Instead, he has sent Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, she toured the museum, but decided not to speak to the people or to the American people. Now, Biden is on his way back from a tour in Vietnam, one where they knew his schedule and they purposely chose to have him stay in Vietnam versus coming back home in time to honor the 2,977 people that lost their lives uh, in the airplane wreckage, in the buildings at the Pentagon, and in the field in Pennsylvania. Um, th this Many people are distraught. I'm, I'm on the internet right now. Uh, the, the families of 9-11 uh, victims are furious with the president. Uh, many people in New York are expressing significant disappointment in the president for not being there. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, I'm, I'm in my 40s. This is one of the biggest memories in my entire life. Uh, this morning, I went back. I watched the footage, looked through the photos. Um, it gave me chills. It made me uh, feel very uncomfortable. Uh, and then I read that the president would not be addressing the nation, that he would be speaking at an Air Force base in Alaska. He would land, uh, give a speech, and then go back to Washington, D.C. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that uh, he's just a busy guy uh, and that being in Vietnam was more important than being in the United States? I know that's how they treat the veterans that went over to Vietnam in a war that many believe we should have never stuck our nose in. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below.